One of the most fast-paced, fun sports periods of the year is in the full swing of things with Vermont's best trying to create a magical march. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Noah Searson. UVM men nearly pulled off an upset against fourth seed at Arkansas a year ago, but the Catamounts are back and ready to try and conquer a new foe. After receiving a 15 seed Vermont matching up against the Big East champion Marquette, Golden Eagles boasting a tough squad having lost only one non-quadrant one game this season thanks to a breakout season from George Mason and transfer Tyler Kolick, but they don't start a single senior, whereas Vermont starts four, a distinct advantage for Coach Becker's bunch. Yeah, I think experience is an important thing. And so, like you said, we, we a lot of, you know, about half our team was in it last year, uh, experienced um, an incredible game against Arkansas. And a lot of guys that are still here had a huge role in that game. And so, um, yeah, I think that's really important. You know, last year, I think we we were made some big plays. We could have won that game, but down the stretch, we had some uh, mess ups with free throws. And, you know, this time we really want to make sure we're buttoned up on this. So on the court, one big matchup to watch. America East Player of the Year, Finn Sullivan, taking on Marquette's Big East Player of the Year, Kolick. Both players, similar production, but Kolick more of a distributor. But both players can turn it on in any given night with big 20-point game potential. Vermont's seen its fair share of basketball success, but the last time the Catamounts advanced past the round of 64, this man right here, TJ Sorrentine, was hitting parking lot shots against Syracuse. The round of 32, something John Becker is trying to cross off his bucket list, as well as his, as his Marquette counterpart. Shaka Smart lost six consecutive opening round matchups entering this year. He's been on both sides of deep runs by high-seeded teams, including his run at VCU as he's preached not to underestimate anyone in March. We talked about this last night that once the tournament starts, yeah, they're seeding, but it's really more about you know who plays better on that day. And uh, our job is to play our best basketball so that we can advance. Friday afternoon couldn't come soon enough, and if you're excited for that one, luckily for you, we've got a Green Mountain.